Okay, I thought I'd do another video. I'm going to work on, uh, actually program some uh, step and direction command pulses to the uh, to the servo drive using the smooth stepper board with the uh, with the multifunction optical isolation board to drive the uh, our two kilowatt servo drive over here, and we've got we're zeroed out where I put the tape on the motor shaft there. It returns to that point every time without fail. Of course, there's no load on it either. Current, current adjustments would have to be set with a load and uh, acceleration adjusted and so forth to compensate for inertia and uh, the weight of the gantry or the components that you're driving. Anyway, so what I've done here is I, have, I just wrote a little bit of uh, just some standard G code really. Um, I just typed it up in uh, Notepad over here. So we got uh, our program one here is going to be the first command is going to send it to X zero. I don't have any Y or other axes in here. We only have one servo drive connected right now to the uh, Mach three software. So the first command line is G zero X zero. So that's going to take it from its current location. If it to X0, and then I put in a uh, dwell, which is a lot like a time delay, um, which simply uh, will turn on when it times out. So G4, P4, and Mach 3 is actually four seconds. Sometimes you have to put in P4000 for four seconds. It just depends how you're configured on your software. There's, there's a lot of different uh, embedded softwares out there. Okay, so it's going to wait four seconds, then it's going to move X 100 units, then it'll wait four seconds, and it'll return X to zero, which is where, incidentally, where we have the tape on the, uh, the two kilowatt motor shaft there. <clears throat> and uh, get it back in focus here. Then finally, I'm going to put in a speed, uh, a feed command with an actual speed, so I've been. We're running approximately 400 inches a minute wide open at G0. Uh, here I'll put in G1 and run the motor in the other direction, in the minus direction. I'll run it 10 units at 50 units per minute, 50 inches or 50 millimeters, whichever you're using. And then uh, we'll dwell for two seconds, and then we'll send it back to its uh, home coordinate, G0 or X0, I'm sorry, using the G1 with a feed rate of 25 inches per minute. So the first two moves, the motor should go fast, and the last two moves, the motor should slow down in two steps there. So let's try it out and see what happens. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to move off of the zero, as if, you know, that's just where we jogged over there. So we're at about 16 units out right now. Bump it a little more. And that's where we're set. Alright, I'm going to come over here and hit cycle start and execute the, uh, the G code there. And we hit cycle start. The motor is now moving to zero. And that's where it's at. It's going to wait four seconds. Now it's moving to 100 units. You can see it's spinning away there, nice and quiet. And when it gets to 100 units, you're going to see the dwell time turn on again. You see it flashing right there for four seconds. And then it's going to run back to G0, X0. And that's what it's doing. Let's see if it stops on the tape. Yep, right on the money. And it's going to wait four seconds, and now it's going to move at 50 inches a minute to 10. And stopped right there at zero. And it's going to move the other way at 25 inches a minute, even slower now. It's going back to X zero. It's negative six units out right now, and moving back to it's zero coordinate location. So pretty nice. Nice and accurate.
very pleased with it. Anyway, thanks for watching this uh, video.